in the previous video I solved first problem now this is the second problem here go for problem 2 two halls two halls of round homogeneous homogeneous cylinder are held together by thread wrapped around the cylinder around the cylinder around the cylinder with two weights with two weights each equal to p each equal to p each equal to p attach to its ends attached to its ends attached to its ends as shown in figure as shown in figure the complete uh, i'll okay i'll draw the figure here The complete cylinder weighs 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 WKGF WKGF the plane of contact the plane of contact the plane of contact of both of its halls both of its halls is vertical is vertical okay determine determine minimum value of p minimum value of p value of p for which both halls both halls both halls of cylinder will be of cylinder will be in equilibrium in equilibrium in equilibrium on horizontal plane on horizontal plane okay this is the problem here i will read the problem to understand once again two halls of round homogeneous cylinder there are a round cylinder it will be split into two halls two halls there it is in homogeneous cylinder are held together by thread by thread are held together by thread wrapped around the cylinder it is wrapped around the cylinder with two two weights with two weights 
each equal to p each equal to p it means both weights are same same uh, in uh, same magnitude that is p and p here it is wrapped around the cylinder two horns uh, uh, here okay the complete cylinder weighs w kg f the weight of the cylinder is how much that is w it is w uh, we'll write uh, w kg f the plane of contact the plane of contact of both both of its halls is vertical vertical the plane of contact it means whatever the plane of contact of both halls this is ha half of the cylinder this is half of the cylinder the plane of contact is vertical in vertical here it is in vertical determine minimum value of p you need to find out p equal to how much minimum value of p for which both halls of the cylinder both halls of the cylinder be in equilibrium they are in equilibrium on horizontal plane here the horizontal plane they 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 kept the two halls on horizontal plane horizontal plane and the thread is wrapped and they are apply they are attached the weight of equal magnitude p so you need to find out how much minimum pull mi minimum p is required so that the both halls should sit in equilibrium in the on the horizontal plane this is the problem here okay now weight of the cylinder also they are given that is weight weight of cylinder equal to w kgf okay w kgf now for the analysis purpose this is the solution now go to solution for solution uh, analysis purpose we will take only half of the cylinder one half of the cylinder consider consider half of the cylinder half of cylinder consider half of cylinder 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 okay just i'll draw here the one half of the cylinder here okay this is the half of the cylinder here to the left half the p is here attached this is the p right this is pull minimum pull okay if here it is attached so it is fully wrapped the, the the thread is fully wrapped so here also some tension it will comes because it will be full round here also some tension it will comes here this is also here the p is there right this and this for equilibrium okay now just find out the cg of this half uh, here suppose if it is considered the g point here it is considered g point on the center here okay uh, for half for half cylinder uh, the half cylinder the cg is lies at a distance of 4 by 3 4, 4 by 3 that is uh, 4r by 3 pi 4r by 3 pi that is this distance whatever you are getting here this distance is 4r by 3 pi where r is radius r is radius okay r is radius in this cg point your total weight is applied here that is this in this point your total weight weight is w or w by 2 the total weight is w total weight of the cylinder is w but the uh, weight of the half cylinder is w by 2 here i can write it as w by 2 w by 2 okay this is the point here and this is the a point uh, here it is fixed here right this is fixed and this is the a point and this is also a point here a point okay now just tell right we know that the cg center of gravity the cg the cg of semicircle of this is the semicircle right of semicircle of semicircle lies at a distance at a distance of 4r by 3 pi 4r by 3 pi from from its base its base measured measured along measured along the radius along the radius did you get the point it is from the base from the base the cg lies at a distance of 
4 r by 3 pi where r is the radius r is the radius now you need to take the moment about a now take the moment about a this is the a point right i will write here for clarification therefore take the moment the moment about a about a and equate the same and equate the same equate the same okay now i'll take the moments about a moments of these forces about a first this p p it is at what distance of a here this is uh, this is r here that is p into r this is having radius right this is having uh, radius r and this is 2r therefore this p if you consider this p into perpendicular distance about a is into r right into r this is one force which is one more force this is one more force right this is w by 2 plus w by 2 this is one force into perpendicular distance is this much how much the distance here that is 4 r by 3 pi this distance is 4 r by 3 pi right that is 4 r by 3 pi any other vertical forces no this is one this is two okay now equate that is one more force equal to now come to this force this force p into perpendicular distance is how much this one this is r here that is 2r because here this r plus this r if you see this distance this and this distance is it is 2r right this is 2r so p into 2r this is p this is 2r here this r plus this r about a okay now which one is the common here here r here r here r r are common just remove the r here that is p into w by 2 uh, p into uh, sorry this is p plus w by 2 w by 2 that is into 4 by 3 pi equal to 2p right equal to 2p now if you take this 2, uh, two uh, p on this side here that is p here 2p minus p is p that is 4w that is uh, just wait this 2 1s are this is 2 2s are and uh, 2w this is 2w divided by 3 pi that that is p here it means if you take this one here this is how you will get the minimum uh, force minimum force required to get the equilibrium of these two uh, halls uh, they need to stay 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 on the uh, horizontal plane here okay this is the minimum force minimum force okay this is how the you need to use the moment uh, moment of force uh, formulas to these type of the problems here.